Hi, this is Jacob Bell. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to eliminate algae from your aquaponics greenhouse. So I built this first aquaponics greenhouse a little under 200 square feet just as an experimental project so I can learn enough from it to where when I build a larger one later I can produce enough food to live off of it and even share the food with other people. Some of the things that I've struggled with getting right are eliminating pests from the greenhouse and one of the pests is algae. So in this video I'm going to show you a few methods that I used to clear up my pond and if you follow these steps then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to also eliminate algae from your greenhouse pond if you have a similar system like what I'm doing here. The first and simplest step is to add mechanical filters like a piece of cloth into your plumbing so when it pumps into your grow beds have a filter there when it flows back into your pond have another filter there and the filters that I'm using are just a piece of cheap cloth held over the pipes with a metal twist tie. The next important step is to shade the pond. If the algae doesn't get very much light, it's not going to be able to grow very fast and you won't get much of it building up in your pond. So you can do this by adding plants around the edge of your pond. You know, any kind of plant that you want to use that's going to get sort of tall and block off the light. I also did this by building a raft with a screen on the bottom to grow duckweed inside of, and the duckweed shades the water and chokes out algae. It provides a nice shady spot where the fish like to go under and hide, they enjoy it under there. It's a healthy food for the fish to eat, to supplement whatever else you're feeding them. You can also shade the pond by adding structural features like what I did here with a bridge made of 2x4s. The bridge shades the pond, you can put potted plants or whatever else you want to put on there so you get more usable square feet in your greenhouse. Having a lot of plants growing in your grow bed and having the proper balance of the number of grow beds for the size of your pond and the number of fish that you have, this will control the level of nutrients in the water so that you don't get such a high amount of nutrients that it's really easy for algae to grow. More plants, more grow beds will help reduce the amount of algae that you have in your pond. Another step is just to have the fish in your pond be a type of fish that likes to eat algae. A variety of types of fish will help clean out your pond for you. 